Welcome, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. And today we're going to take a look at After Earth, the new big screen sci-fi pick who stars Jaden Smith, Will Smith, and directed by, prepare yourself, M. Night Shyamalan. Yes, M. Night came out with a movie and people didn't even realize it, right? <laughs> and so we get the story of General Cypher. This is set a thousand years after humans have abandoned the planet. And General Cypher is like this legendary, mega, super kick-ass soldier who's coming home after a long period in the service, okay? In a way, he was on extended, uh, uh, on extended service. So he's back and he's ready to be uh, with his family. But he's kind of, you know, hardened soldier and shows no emotion. So he has trouble kind of relating to his family, especially his 13-year-old son who wants to be a ranger like dad and make dad proud. Well, when father and son are on a ship that gets hit by asteroids storm, they're forced to crash land. Okay, and they crash land on Earth. Yes, Earth. A thousand years after humans have abandoned it, it has become a very dangerous place for humans. And the father is hurt, and he can't do his super soldier thing. So the kid's got to step up to the plate and help find the beacon in a crashed part of the ship so it can save both him and his dad, the only two survivors left from the crash. I'm... Um, I liked After Earth. It surprised me. When I saw the trailers, I was like, oh, here we go, right? But it actually was an entertaining film on a number of levels. One, I liked the themes they were going for in this. One of them was the uh, facing the issue of a, a father being away on an extended you know, service in the military for a long time, away from his family, and coming back and trying to relate to his family. I liked that kind of angle of it. Then there's also this man versus nature in the other half of the film after they crash land. Loved the fact that they made Earth almost this alien place to humans because they've been gone for so long, they're not used to the atmosphere, and all the creatures and nature has just taken over the planet, and it definitely doesn't resemble the planet that the humans left. So I loved how they kind of made Earth the alien planet to the humans. It was a great angle, and it was very enjoyable, made for some great scenes. The action in here is very well done. You always got this feeling of threat, which is, uh, you know, lost in a number of these films, but here you always have this, uh, with the son, Jaden Smith, running through the woods and evading big uh, tigers and huge eagles and, and uh, birds and that, you, you really feel like that there's always this constant feeling of danger. Earth is this very dangerous place, and they get that, and they convey that very well, and there are some on-the-seat-of-your-pants moments. Now, I'm not going to say this film is groundbreaking, and it's not covering material that hasn't been done before, but it is a well-paced a decent film that I think definitely should be seen by fathers and sons. You don't get a lot of father-son films out of Hollywood anymore, much less ones that aren't uh, real sappy, and this one doesn't get real sappy. Now, granted, you do have Jane Smith and Will Smith playing a father and son pair in their father and son real life, so it wasn't a, a stretch for Jane to act as far as uh, acting as Will Smith as his dad. You know, his acting is okay in this. Not, not phenomenal, but decent. I, I thought he did a good job, especially considering most of the film is him running through the woods and carrying most of this film on his shoulders. Will Smith did great, playing a character we're not used to seeing him playing, this kind of hardened soldier who, uh, you know, doesn't want to let too many emotions get to him, and, and he just, he does very well. It, now, he's not that wisecracking guy like we're used to seeing out of Will Smith, so some people may be taken aback, but I give him props for taking a role on like this. You can tell this was a pet project for him that he basically helped uh, get made so he could be in the movie with his son, and that's okay. That happens in Hollywood, and what we get is a decent sci-fi film that's definitely made for fathers, sons, but the whole family can enjoy it as well. Uh, the younger fair may be shocked by some of the imagery in there, so I would say the PG-13 rating is about accurate for After Earth. Anything younger, eh, you may have some sleepless nights ahead of you, but definitely worth your time, especially around this Father's Day season. I gave it three and a half stubs, okay? Uh, M. Night had kind of a shame opening with the way they edit it and try to catch up to date with the history of the people but once you get into the film and things start rolling this film really just keeps moving it's a very kinetic film and I think it'll be very enjoyable by uh, by you all especially you know, it's at least worth the matinee price and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep the tickets down